Hello friends and gamers and welcome to an Airbnb in Prince George, British Columbia. I'm here for the Spring Offensive and I thought I'd make a quick video here today because I just finished my last Japanese turn for the day and I think I made a serious mistake. You know, um, let's put things in context. Yesterday we started playing a little bit at 6 p.m. and we finished at 11-ish, somewhere like that, 11-ish, yeah, 11-ish, and then by the time everybody filmed, I filmed one of the last, you know, second last, Panzer King went after me, and, um, you know, I don't, I don't normally do live streams or just do it off of my video, I do some editing and, and put some stuff in there, so by the time I got home, phoned my wife, because my wife is back home with two kids, communicating a little bit back and forth there, by the time I got to bed, after I edited a video, called my wife, or called my wife, edited a video, I made some plans for the next day and had a shower. It was 2 a.m. So I slept from 2 a.m. till 6 a.m. I woke up and because my wife called me. Or, yeah, no, 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 my wife didn't call me. I think she called me because she, the kids had kept her up. Anyway, so I had a, yeah, yeah, I, 6 a.m. And at 8 o'clock, we started again. And from that point, we had 8 till now. So eight hour, 15 hours later, we finally finished. And... Before the turn started, I was telling guys, everyone, I'm done. I, I can't think straight. I'm, let's call it a night. Let's call it a night. But everybody else was like, yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with going one more turn. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll do one more turn. But I knew it was a mistake. I was very, very fatigued, like extraordinarily fatigued. 15 hours is a long time, especially if you're thinking hard and trying to arrange things and think ahead. And I was shot. I was absolutely shot, especially now at this point, it's, the Soviets and the Americans and the FEC all after the Japanese. And with their all monstering comes each one of them. So, uh, yeah, my mind is fried. So anyways, the Japanese started and uh, turn started and I said, guys, let's call it a night. I am done. I, I'm literally done. And um, they said, no, no, we want to see this turn done, and that kind of thing. So I played it out, but my mind was out of it. I was, I was talking to the guys like, give me it, give me some thoughts, you know, Axis players, come here, tell me what to do because I can't think straight. I was counting the same thing over and over and over again. You know, after 15 hours of intensive mental exercise and four hours of sleep, I'm out of it. I'm done. I'm not used to this kind of stuff. I'm used to waking up early and going to bed, you know, at a decent hour with my kids, right? Yeah, at 10 p.m. Usually in bed at this time of the night or t time of the day, right? Um, shot. So I made, uh, I, I, well, I left a move where I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but essentially Tokyo has two infantry on it and that's it. And I, my mind is not even thinking about that. I was just like, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm out of here. You know, I'm, I told everybody as soon as my turn's done, I'm out of here. I don't care what happens. So I didn't do put any units down in Japan. I intended to, never did. So I'm li likely out of the game at this point, just to pure fatigue, I would say. And also... I left and those guys were still going to finish because I said, guys, look, I'm so fatigued. I'm out of here. I can't think straight. I'm going to drive home, have a shower, go to bed. I want to make this little quick thing too because I'm so done. I don't care what happens. Whoever wants to roll for me, roll for me. I'm done. And part of me was I'm, I'm upset with myself too because usually I don't make mistakes. Usually I'm pretty careful. I mean, yes, if I'm fatigued. And usually, you know, in Operation Winter Solace, I would oftentimes be fatigued. You know, oftentimes I'd be late into the night because I couldn't record during the daytime because kids are being loud and stomping upstairs or whatever. So I wouldn't get too much opportunity. So I would end up making mistakes. And this one's case in point. J Japan with its income of, well, let's say 65, somewhere there, um, just is going to fall just to the sake of, of the Americans taking it over. You know, um, That's it. End of game for me. There's no way I could recover from that. 65 bucks of treasury lost. I'm not even going to be able to recover it. You know, I'm not even going to be able to take back Tokyo because that 63 disadvantage of income, that's that's infinite. Um, I won't be able to keep the American fleet off my back. I'm done and out of the game. And I'm, I'm upset at myself for even allowing myself to be persuaded to do one more turn. I really shouldn't have done that. I should have put my foot down and said, guys, I'm out of it. It's been, you know, at that point, it was 14 and a half hours. I'm done. I'm going home. 14 and a half hours is too long, but... Yeah, so I'm making this recording here because I know those other gentlemen are going to make videos too, and they'll say different things, but who knows? They might say, you know, Joseph or Jinx walked out because he was upset at this, that, the other thing. Yeah, that's true. I walked out because I was upset at myself for playing while fatigued at such a crucial thing and doing something as stupid as is not reinforcing um, 
my capital, realistically, right? Or my homeland to begin with. I, I had built like 10 militia and 10 militia and, well, what would it be? Seven infantry. And my brain was so fried, I didn't even think of putting any in Japan. I mean, I think I put a couple. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I did at this stage anyways. So my brain is so fried, I wasn't even thinking straight. So likely I've, I've lost Japan. And honestly, I don't know what to do in this case. If Japan, if Japan falls, well, you know, I want to be a good sport and keep showing up, but, but I'm pissed off at myself for being persuaded to do one more turn. I mean, yes, I have a hand in it too. You know, of course I do. I, I could have said, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Uh, let's stop before the Japanese turn and do what you guys want, but I'm out of here. But anyways, that's all I want to do. Make this video, put my side of the story out there. If they say, you know, I'm being a spoil sport or whatever all else, you know, that, that I... I just left. That's part of the reason why is I'm irritated at myself for even attempting it, right? It's something as crucial as maneuvering all the, the workings of the Japanese fleet is sped across the whole Pacific, you know, from Australia all the way to Japan. My mind's not in it. And, and to coordinate it, especially with the Russians bearing down on me through Manchuria and, and you know, the Americans across the Pacific, you know, they put down 11 light cruisers. And I said, well, I'm going to put down 15 light cruisers. And I did that turn. But I overheard them saying, like, we're delaying our attack one turn. And they were going to until they saw I didn't reinforce Tokyo. And now, at that point, if I lose Tokyo, I'm done. I am really am done. And so it's hard for me, too, because my wife is at home with our, our month-old baby and our, our rambunctious, not even a two-year-old, having a crazy time of it. And here I am in a situation that I just, yeah. You get it. You get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, that's my side of the story and why I left. Why I left when I did because I'm going to bed. And tomorrow, whatever tomorrow brings, if uh, Japan falls, it's the end of the game for the Axis because I'm the only power worth mentioning at this point. But unfortunately, it's because of the commander rather than the nation itself. At this time, if they had a better commander, they would have done something better. But unfortunately, they had me. Anyways, all, thank you all for watching this. I know it's a little bit different and silly, but I wanted to set whatever record there is straight with my perspective of things. And that's it. I know I don't have a great following, and other people, if they set the, you know, they have thousands of viewers or whatever, right? So they might have a different version of events, but I thought I'd put this out for mine. Thank you all. Cheers.